gentlemen ladies old school game snob here and in this video i'm going to show you how to adjust an animation inside unreal editor as you can see uh my character is in a driving animation but her hands are not really in a <laughs> logical position for driving that's not too good that's not going to work um so let's go ahead and edit that really quickly quite easily inside of our unreal editor so you find find your animation sequence open that up and what you're going to want to do is uh, start out at frame one, but actually it doesn't really matter. You're gonna to wanna to start out at frame one, not frame zero, but frame one. Uh, and then what you can do is find the bones and adjust them as you need them to be adjusted. So I think, let's see, might stick out the arms a little bit further here. I might need to rotate a little bit up there. Kinda of have to just eye it up, right? So I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking here. A little bit of tweaky tweaking until I find something that looks like it might uh, do the trick. Oh, that was the wrong one. That's okay. Edit undo. That's what edit undo is for. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, it's not too good. Anyway, I'll pause the video here as I tweak this around. Basically, what you're doing at this point is you're just finding the right position that you want the, the character to be sitting in. As you can see, if I click play right now, the arm position is sort of adjusted and the sort of driving movement is is uh, appropriate to that adjustment that I made. So I'm just gonna have to make some more adjustments here. Okay, that's getting pretty good. Pretty good in my case. I think that might be pretty close. I'll probably have to adjust this a little bit, but just so you guys can see what to do. So now what you're gonna wanna do is navigate to frame one of your, of your timeline animation. Just go to frame one. You can see it says frame one right up there. Go ahead and click that key. And that will, of course, uh, apply a key to all of your adjustments, a keyframe to all of your adjustments. And now if I play the animation, you can see it's basically the same kind of that uh, driving motion. But now her arms are a little bit more forward. So let's jump back into the game and see if that's closer. I'll probably have to tweak it a little bit more still. But, um, yep, as you can see, the arms are now in the new driving position. And, uh, yeah, I can see now I'm going to have to adjust them forward a little bit more to align that a little bit better but I won't bore you guys with that process I think you can see how that basically works additionally if you need to adjust mid animation you certainly can so for example say you wanted to change it up dramatically at frame 107 well you might you know make that change uh, well, let's say let's make a big move something like uh, something like oh that's the wrong way let's let's go the other way so it's easier to see there we go, a big move at frame, let's make it 100 so it's easy to remember. Frame 100, that way when I have to remove it I remember where it was. Go ahead and hit another keyframe. Now you can see I've got a keyframe at number 100 and you can see from 0 to 1, it kind of transitions to 0 to 100 and then it kind of stays where it is until it looks for the next keyframe. Now that's not what I want to do, but just so you guys know, that is a way to do it and that's how you can kind of adjust your animations inside Unreal Editor to some degree anyway. Certainly handy, quick little feature for little tweaks like that, adjusting character location inside a car or whatever the case may be. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you later.